First, let me acknowledge it's been much longer than I anticipated, and for that, I hope you can forgive me. Life happens without warning, and I needed some time. This update will be short, but big. Hey, yo! Dreams Hellboy is now Unreal Hellboy. What led me to switch? Vaguely, a lot of reasons, but specifically, I was getting burnt out on the project in Dreams. I had recently built a PC and was casually messing around in Unreal Engine. Every week, it felt like I was seeing something amazing done in Unreal. There was a video series that was a huge motivator. It was Rubes remaking The Simpsons hit and run in Unreal Engine 5. A lot of the granular info went over my head, but the process was so intriguing. Then, there were reactions to my Hellboy project. It was acknowledged as cool, but not a lot more than that. Dreams is niche, and I love that niche, but I wanted people to see the project as I did, so I'm pushing it. Now, what came first? Outside of the one-off experiments I was doing in Unreal Engine, I knew it would be hard for me to really start without a good model. Am I a blender guru? No. Am I another 3D software expert? Not really, unless you count Dreams. I did try to get my model out of Dreams to, let's say, mixed results. Then I found it, a rigged Hellboy Injustice 2 model. I downloaded it, opened it, and didn't know what I was doing. I got discouraged trying to run before I can walk, and I put the model on a digital shelf in my desktop and let it collect us while some time passed. Then one day I wanted to work on it and I had some free time. I have a good friend, a brother really, that's a talented, self-taught game dev. I saw him on Discord and decided to catch up. We got to talking and the model came up. We opened it, he took a good look at it and what I had in Unreal and I could see the gears in his head spinning. He knew how to find solutions to practically all the problems I had working with the model. He separated and re-rigged the mesh so that I could seamlessly use it in Unreal Engine 5, seamlessly to me. He made sure the coat uh, was simulated with physics and the gun and rosary had separate sockets for the hand and belt. Then he let me have at it. Seriously, I would not have an update without him. You guys should check him out. There's no shortage of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials online, but everyone does things a little differently, so I would get lost in the nuance of game development, especially when trying to get different systems from different people to work together. I really struggled through a few tutorials and got some basic stuff working. Nothing is ironclad yet, but I'm excited about where the project is currently. I've set up motion matching from scratch. It's not as clean as the game animation sample, more on that later. I found a great fight animation pack on Fab. I set up a basic combo system with the chooser table. There's an aim button, more on that later. And a coat interactable. I figured out how to set up the dual sense with Unreal Engine 5. That's really big for me, it's starting to feel like dreams again. Some sound effects for that combo that I mentioned. And there's a hit stop when attacking. It is crunchy, but it currently happens when anything is colliding with Hellboy while he's attacking. I found an Abe model on Sketchfab. It looks to be the Del Toro version. I think it's pretty well done. And a frog monster model. I found it on a 3D printing site, threw it into Mixamo to rig it, and I started but did not finish adjusting the weight painting, so it's pretty jank, but also kind of cool. Where does that leave me now? Currently, I run around a lot. The motion matching gets the job done, but there are nuanced things that really contribute to how smooth or polished it feels, especially when I compare it to the game animation sample. Why didn't I use that, you might be asking. I tried. Well, Devon and I tried. There's something causing all of Hellboy's mesh to be compressed. It is funny, but it's not really what I'm going for. And after combing through the blueprints and assets, Devon nor I could find the cause. Hence motion matching from scratch. Next, I want to continue rebuilding my way back to what I had in Dreams, and I'm going to have to continue to learn the engine to do that. I want to create a secondary dodge in the form of a roll, like I had in Dreams, a heavy attack combo, equipable gadgets, being able to aim would be nice. I could figure out how to separate tap and hold inputs on the left trigger. Vaulting would be cool. I don't know about full-on ledge climbing as before, but at least taking a substantial step forward and upward. I want to create more interactions, 
There's the coat right now, but I think a sit down, a basic button switch, kind of like the one in Batman Arkham would be cool. And a modular pickup and examine. Maybe a BPRD level block out. I think that that's gonna have to be redesigned a little bit for how I want the store to work. I know, I know, I'm changing it again. But I just want it to be good, you know? And that takes time. And there we have it. That is the Dreams to Unreal devlog. Like and subscribe!